The most important thing when sailing a catamaran is always to know which course we're on. And we are on a close reach within 30 to 40 degrees. And we are on a beam reach within 40 to 70 degrees. Or are we on the broad reach with the wind indicator on 70 to 90 degrees? This is important to know because when we sail on a close reach or on a beam reach and a gust comes, we must luff up. That doesn't work on a reaching course with 70 to 90 degrees. I'll show you this at the jib. The jib is eased off much further, so the angle of attack and the luff of the jib are oriented in the same direction. We can see this at the steering threads windward and leeward. We should bring these to a butt by adjusting the jib. If possible, the trim threads at the top as well. This means that the crew drives the jib by hand and not clamped, so read adjustments to the jib can be undertaken. What is the job of the helmsman in this situation? He must ease off the traveler for the reaching course. It should be centered between the inner edge of the hole and the hiking belt. The clue outhaul traveler is released so the sail is adjusted bulgier for this slower and more abaft course. The Cunningham only needs to be released if we have hauled it very firmly before. Now the helmsman sails on this wind edge on a reaching course between 70 to 90 degrees. This means that he must always look ahead and be careful not to leave this course. If a gust comes, it works the other way around. The helmsman must bear away to the direction of 90 degrees or even 100 degrees. In the case of a very strong gust, so the hole submerges at front, he must bear away so far until the sails start to stall. Afterwards, when the gust is over, the helmsman luffs up again a bit, and the crew haul up the jib a bit, which he may have eased off in the gust. With that, we are always sailing at 70 to 90 degrees to the wind angle of attack. And again, in gusts, we react the other way around. We don't have to luff up, but to ease off in the gust.